Windows 2000. The often forgotten middle child of Windows 98, ME, and Windows XP. The OS's that everybody loves to hate, and then the one that everybody loves. But right in the middle is Windows 2000. It's built on Windows NT, the same code base as Windows XP. and in my opinion has an even better startup jingle. This is a hot take, I am aware. So what we have here is Windows 2000. So this is a 100% up-to-date version of Windows 2000. What we have over here is a bunch of different malware. I know what most of these are. This is some sort of ransomware. I believe this is called Reviton, or this is a Reviton variant. Obviously this is Nava Shield. this is Petya, Crotten, WannaCry, don't know what this is. This is a rogue called Desktop Security 2010 because it was a pretty interesting uh, video I made on my second channel. And this is something else as well. So the first one we're gonna run is this one because I don't know what it is. And it's not a valid application. That's a good start. Let's try this one. Okay, well this one, whatever it is, is running probably. unless it isn't maybe windows 2000 is surviving by virtue of not being able to run anything let's try one encryptor oh there we go we saw that just pop up there in task manager and it's gone just as quickly oh so we can see that we have these random files now on the desktop called c r s t u b dot w n r y we've got this message folder i don't know what this m english is supposed to be but if we go to uh where are we documents and settings and we'll go administrator do we have we still have our bitmap file a jpeg sorry my bad we still have our jpeg so it is not encrypted our uh, one sample picture that you get with windows 2000 so that's nice to see but it has definitely done something. I don't know what these are supposed to be. I don't know what, what's task DL, task SE. I don't know what the messages are. Let's just keep on rolling. So the next one I wanted to try was installing desktop security 2010. And we can actually see straight away that it does open up. So we can install this software. And at the same time, why don't we install an Avashi? Oh, New virus found. Oh, there we go. It is working fine. This is a completely blank VM. And none of these things are associated with uh, WannaCry either. So that is not anything to do with these infections. What does this say? Critical threat. It is advised to disinfect and remove now. And critical threat, what is this one? Not critical, will reduce performance of your system. So let's clean and disinfect. And of course, we do not have a license. So we'll close out of here. And we get warning, you computer in danger. Use a safe computer with desktop security 2010 you online guard. Do you want to leave unwanted software or viruses on UPC? So we go, yes, I do. And we see Nava Shield did not want to install. So by virtue of this not being Windows XP, it has been saved. So let's try this. Uh, what else have we got here? We have this uh, DLL. I'll save that for last. Let's try Crotten. Why not? And again, just as we did in the original video. I uh, know. Hey, hey. And then whatever this is supposed to say. And now we're getting these pop-ups as well from desktop security to oh here we go and your online guard helps stop unauthorized changes okay great it said it was disinfected so goodbye what does this say what does this say your computer is being used as spamming machine you can get sued for spam your computer will be disconnected from internet because spamming other pcs cancel Oh, okay. Ah, uh, you wish to keep this illegal file on your computer. This can lead to private data steals, such as passwords and credit cards by cyber criminals. Your Facebook, PayPal, and eBay account can be used by the hackers. Are you willing to keep this dangerous file on your computer or disinfect it using desktop security? We're gonna go yes. And there we go. Now, of course, over here we have two, what? Okay, and we have a little bit of artifacting sort of there, but that's okay. We have Crotten has given us this thing, and Task Manager has been disabled. So even though we, we do have it open, 
and we can see that this virus free and infected this is injected code from desktop security 2010 and we can see that it's security center dot nothing seems to be running if we end that does it go away this fake security center that just dings when i click on it oh maybe that was the real one because this operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect okay okay cool so that is definitely working so let's go and say we want to get rid of desktop security 2010 and it is gone so that's great so why don't we try and restart oh my god it's destroyed it is just obliterated we can still get to the c drive but we see we've got all these oh i think it might be trying to close this window but we can see we got all these folders that have nothing in them that is a classic crotten symptom and we still have our WinNT folder, and everything is in here just fine. There's nothing wrong with the system at the moment. And we have Windows 91, which has nothing. I'm not really sure what that even is supposed to be. But we can see that we have no program files, which is uh, interesting. We have our Documents and Settings folder, which is like the Users folder in newer versions of Windows. But we don't have anything going on in terms of program files. Like, can I actually get to program files? Access to the resource has been disallowed. Got a remote IP of 127.127.27.17 and my local IP is apparently 190.141.12719, which it is not. This port that is certainly not open, but okay, can we just go cancel? Keep this remote connection alive, yes, thank you. Look at this magnificent motion image of unspecified format. Because I'm not going to say what it is and ignite a war in the comments, but it is lovely. Look at that. It's very fluid. It's very nice frame rate on that. So we can't get to program files. We can't get to pretty much anything. We can't restart. So luckily this is a virtual machine. So we are going to go ahead and... Oh. So, we have a mass mailing worm. Your email account is used to send a huge amount of email messages. Mass mailing functionality compromises system security on infected hosts by opening a backdoor access. What? So let's go ahead and find the VM and we will reset it. Oh my god, every time it's got something to say. So we got screengrabj.exe. It's a Trojan program that records keys and license info, stealing personal financial information. This worm can be blocked from firewall and antivirus software. And I love how it's got the Windows XP like theme here, but this is Windows Vista and 7. So is this, and then this is Windows 7. So I'm gonna go activate protection. Sure, let's just get the hell out of here before it does something else. Okay, so we got danger, and basically this is saying that and as I discussed on the Crotton video, this is saying we need to send an email with an SMS, like mobile top-up code, 25 Ukrainian currency, which I'm not going to try and pronounce. So we're getting beaten up here on Windows 2000. We got a system critical warning. You have been infected by a proxy relay Trojan server with new and danger spam bots. You have a computer with a virus that sends spam. This is a mass mailing worm with backdoor, thus allowing unauthorized access to the infected system. It spreads by I just read ahead, this is so dumb. It spreads by mass mailing itself to email addresses harvested from the local computer or by querying online search engines such as google.com. The IP 127.0.0.1 address that you are getting from internet service provider, ISP, for you personal computer is on some major blacklist. Not courteous enough to tell me which one, but that's okay. Your computer has been used to send a huge amount of junk email messages during the last days, UIP 127.0.0.1 will be marked in the police log file as mass mailing spam assist. Upgrading to the full version desktop security 2010, it will eliminate the majority of spam attempts. Not all of them, though, just the majority. Before, we will be disconnected form spamming something, okay? Cancel. Yep new virus found right so it looks like crotton has done its job here we have our oe date in the corner we have no icons and if i right click everything is still disabled anyway wow whoa it got worse guys it got worse 
So we have nothing. Can I open run? No. Can I open an explorer window? Yes. Okay, well we can still get to this boulder. So can we get to the desktop? It's been disallowed. Can we get to the C drive? It's been disallowed. Can we do anything? Could not open. Deep scan spyware, go away. This operation has been cancelled. I can't even close the window. Okay, can we open a new window? Oh, and I can't close this, but we can minimize it. And we've got local disk C. Hey, hey, hey! And then a bunch of dots, and we can access these folders, which is good. So we can open up help? No. Can we open up welcome? Yes, we can open up welcome. That's good. Soap bubbles. Oh, MS Paint was launched successfully, but it was forced to shut down due to security reasons. This application infected by a malicious software program which might present damage for the PC. It is highly recommended to make a full scan of your computer and to exterminate the malicious programs from it. So calculator works. Certificate manager does not because it couldn't find the database for the certificates. That's not worrying at all. Disk cleanups working. Command prompt is working. Disallowed. Disallowed. Ah, uh, I'm not even going to read that. Ah. Uh, I don't think system restores in this version of Windows anyway, so I'll leave command prompt open because of how difficult it was to get open before, but there's not really a lot we can do with it. So what's this one? It's a virus attempts to spread itself by attaching to a host program and can damage hardware, software, or data in the process. This worm can be blocked. Yes, I want to leave the software working. Thank you. Cancel. Can we open this stuff? DVD decoder not available. That's fine. We can open up DXDiag. See our sick graphics card. Group policy editor is actually allowed. So what we could do here is try and find where you stop it from working. This shows how much I know, doesn't it? Sure, New virus. It's a worm and it is in the temp directory and it has got one total risks. So apparently viruses are programs that self-replicate recursively, meaning that infected systems spread the virus to other systems which then propagate the virus further. While many viruses contain a destructive payload, it's quite common for viruses to do nothing more than spread from one system to another. With this back. Oh my god, stop doing that! It's not funny anymore. It's not cool anymore, guys. I'm just trying to figure out this older version of GP Edit, and somebody is going to be telling me exactly where it is in the comments, but I can't see that, guys, just so you know. Judging from the state that Windows 2000 is now in, I think the question has been answered. Does newer malware, and this is not even you know, this is not even considered that destructive. I suppose Crotton is, but, uh, you know, can newer malware beat Windows 2000? Yes, it can, and I did not even get to try some of the best stuff because it was already hosed straight away. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you again for 50,000 subscribers, and I do hope to see you all in the next video.